Hello parents and guardians and welcome to the month of June. In June we're recognizing Indigenous History Month and our staff and students will be engaging in activities that highlight and celebrate the strengths, identities, languages and diversity of Indigenous people. Last week we were honoured to have Mr. Philip Campu, a traditional knowledge keeper, join us for the day and he provided us teachings about Wakotawin and kinship while learning about teepees and we're looking forward to more learning over the course of the month. June is also recognized as Pride Month, both in Canada and internationally. Edmonton Public Schools has designated June 5th to 9th as Pride Week within our division, and Pride demonstrates the division's commitment to the 2S LGBTQIA community. This commitment is reflected in board policies, and these include the fact that gender and sexual diverse identities should have their unique identities, families, cultures, and communities included, valued, and respected within all aspects of the school environment, and also that we implement measures to improve understanding of the individual lives of sexual and gender minorities and their families, cultures, and communities. Pride activities are based on ties to the Alberta curriculum, including building positive relationships, respect and understanding of different cultures and experiences, and a reduction of discrimination. As we did throughout the year, uh, with all aspects of diversity that we've addressed in our school, we use a foundation of children's literature as well as highlighting notable individuals in our community. We'll be using anchor books such as All Our Neighbours, which features all kinds of different aspects of our community and the message is that together, by, through recognizing and celebrating our differences, we are a stronger community. We'll also be using books such as Strong, which is a true account of uh, the first openly gay strong man and how he gained strength and found that we can be our best self when we're able to be our authentic self. For us, this is an opportunity to talk about how our school community is diverse, much like the world beyond the school, and that being kind to all people is what's important. Being able to express what it means to be accepting and respectful at a young age is one of the most important things that we can learn in school. And creating an inclusive culture helps prevent students, staff, and families from experiencing distress, discrimination, bullying, and negative health outcomes. In fact, it helps pre prepare students for the diverse world in which they will be learning and working very shortly. Please reach out to your child's teacher if you have any questions. Next week, Mr. Mastell and I will be putting out our regular June newsletter, which will feature all of the other things taking place in the very busy month of June.